The Philippine Scout Rangers are a cut above the rest. A light, quick reaction force, trained to strike hard and fast, deep behind enemy lines. But to join this elite crew, soldiers must first endure six months of hell. To earn the coveted to bat tab, it's a brutal selection course. Most will fail. To graduate, they must face a test of life. A live combat mission against insurgents, where some will pay the ultimate sacrifice. The Philippine Scout Rangers are fearsome anti-guerrilla fighters. We evaluate our targets. We analyze, we discuss who among them needs uh, elimination. They are trained to operate in dense jungle terrain found across the Philippines archipelago. The Scout Rangers go behind deep enemy lines with just a small team, little as seven men. Traveling light and hitting hard. And to be able to strike fast, they use helicopters to hit the battle zone, specializing in raids, ambushes, and sabotage. The Philippines has long been plagued by domestic conflicts, one of which gave birth to this elite unit. The 1st Scout Ranger Regiment was uh, formed in 1950 because uh, the government is looking for a solution to counter the uh, guerrilla tactics of uh, our then uh, communist armed groups. They're called the Hooks. Skilled in unconventional jungle warfare, the unit was modeled after two legendary fighting groups, the intelligence gathering American Alamo Scouts and the combat-ready U.S. Army Rangers. 112 students joined the first Scout Ranger class. Only 72 graduated. But to become a member of this elite group, Soldiers must first pass six months of advanced training. And it all starts here, at Camp Texan, San Miguel, Bulacan, in the northern Philippines. These 206 volunteers are already trained soldiers from other army regiments. Rangers, good morning. Vying to become part of an even more elite military club. First, they will be stripped of all their ranks. Here, every man is equal. All aiming for one thing. The coveted Tabacta of the Scout Ranger Training School. The red border signifies the blood, sweat, and tears shed by every ranger during his course. The sword symbolizes our special unit capability, and the words we strike symbolizes uh, our capability to go anywhere, any place, and any time. Today is known as reception day, and recruits are in for a grueling welcome. For the next five hours, these instructors will try and break as many as possible through continuous physical exercises. It's not just the instructors who will be brutal. Today is a searing 32 degrees Celsius. Just 10 minutes in, and the course has already claimed its first victim to the heat. But he's not alone. Four more recruits have reached their limits. <laughs> Recruit 54 has collapsed from heat exhaustion. He's being taken to the medical area to get his body temperature down. For others, hell has just begun. Missionary, 
The second run sees more recruits drop. Medics are called in for even more severe cases of heat exhaustion. The exercise has depleted their bodies of essential water and salts. It results in dizziness, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and control. If not treated fast enough, it can develop into heat stroke, a potentially fatal condition. If the condition is already heat stroke, the regulatory mechanisms of the body has already malfunctioned. Then um, the patient started to bleed. That would result to multiple organ failure. Recruits are only allowed up to 72 hours of medical grace from the entire course. If they use up all these hours, they will fail. It's only been one hour since they signed up, and already, some are so ill they won't recover in time. Only the strongest will survive. Sa schooling kasi ito, briefing na kasi ako sa mga senior ko na nauna pa sa akin na mag-schooling nito. Kung gusto mo talagang makuha ang isang bagay, pagbutihin mo yung kuwan talaga na yung galing sa puso mo ba na... The next challenge sees them hitting the ground. The unfit or unwilling have no place in the scout rangers. Bilisan! 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 At age 32, Recruit 1 is one of the oldest in the course. Uh, this is my ambition. It is very difficult uh, and it's very hard to, to be trained as a ranger. That's why uh, I don't know what uh, the training I will going to, to survive this uh, kind of course. Two hours to go. For those still in the game, the pain is nearly over. Reception has nearly ended. But this last tradition is a hard one to stomach. Chili's. Right now, it's the, this is the final phase of our reception rites. We're, in, we're trying to let them uh, eat the chili pepper. And uh, the juice of it. So after this, they're licking the tabak sign or insignia. And then the Musang or the Black Panther is our logo for the Scout Rangers. Finally, reception day is over. But disappointment sets in as these recruits realize their Scout Ranger dream is over. Hindi ko na nalaman kung saan ako na nag-give up yung katawan ko. Basta nagising na lang ako na parang naya, parang nahihilo na, na hindi na nakaya na ng katawan ko. At the end of day one, the damage is clear. 35 have quit. 171 remain standing. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> Philippine Scout Ranger recruits are seven weeks into their brutal training regime. 
53 have already dropped out. Those who fail to graduate has one thing in common. They easily give up. The battle has been won yet. They already doubt themselves. Once you doubt yourself, the affinity will not finish the course. Pag exit sa static line, isigaw ng Oprah Pin. Nakuha! The recruits will test their heads for heights today. They're going to learn to rappel on this 45-foot tower. Ranger Prater, request permission to enter the tower at the back, Sergeant. Scout Rangers pride themselves in lightning infiltration and extraction, often from helicopters into dense jungles. Rangers specialize in jungle warfare. They rappel down mountains, cross rivers, using expedite methods or anything that's available within them. In the jungle, they need to feel comfortable hanging at 100 feet in the air, well under fire. In a battle zone, quick execution of these skills could mean the difference between life and death. Recruits will have to complete four crucial forms of repelling. The seat hip repel, the lizard repel, the rundown repel, and the heli repel. And then, how about some break? Get apart. Okay. Hold the rope. Recruits 1 and 155 are up first okay. with the seat hip repel, used for mountain evacuations. Recruit 155 is one of the youngest in the course. Salam daman ko po eh. Kinakaban po ako ngayon. And first time ko po ito at nalulula dahil sa mataas ng the first exercise is cleared. They performed well, even recruit 155. <laughs> Pagkatapos ko ng talon, parang nakangkit ko na yung kaba ko sa ilog ko. For the next few hours, each recruit gets a turn to perform the other three types of repels. Yung hindi namin napapansin na pagkaragala yung sadyante. Once na hindi ka hindi nakahook up, malaglag siya or matulak ng kasama. For recruit 197, the lizard repel used for clearing rooms with hostages is proving a challenge. This fully loaded M16A1 rifle weighs over three kilograms. Mas mahirap dito sa lizard yung tali. Mas masakit siya sa biwang mo. Kasi pababa yung ulo eh. Yung bigat na doon lahat tapos may baril pa. Ma masakit talaga siya. Next, they must conquer the slide for life, a 200-meter flying fox. Ang importante po ng slide for life, uh, kung nag-uupire tayo, may mga cases na madana natin to, lalo na sa mga ilog, malalalim na ilog. It's a seven-second expressway to safety or injury. Kung pagdating mo doon sa taas, paghawak mo ng puli, pag hindi ka nakagrip, may posibilidad na malalaglag ka dito. Pus not getting it right here won't kill them. But in the jungle, one mistake could mean death. Next up is amphibious training. Some recruits are weak swimmers. This phase will aim to weed out those that can't make the grade. Recruits will be thrown into this 12-foot deep river, blindfolded and in full combat gear, weighing 30 kilograms. The aim is to first disorient them, then see if they can calmly recover and reach the surface. For recruits terrified of water, this is their worst nightmare. Recruit 181 will confront one of his lifelong fears. Yo, 
kinakabahan ako dito kasi dito mahina talaga ako sa kuan nanoy nung nangyari sa akin noon nalunog kasi ako matagal akong uh, sa yung sa tubig may, may pobya na talaga ako diyan pero sinusubukan ko lang yung tinaga parang kinakaunter ko lang yung takot ko diyan Recruit 181 survives this first challenge. But up next is an even tougher one. In small groups, recruits must tread water for 30 minutes in this 5 by 5 meter square. Fresh water has a density lower than salt water, making floating much more difficult. For those waiting, the cold and cramping is causing problems they don't need. One minute. Ranger, it's kita. Ranger, kita, kita, kita. Maruno la lumangoy pero hindi ko siguro ato kung tatagal ng 30 minutes sa tubig. Madiki pa yon. But recruits have more to worry about than staying afloat. At the end of the 30 minutes, the instructors will jump in and attack the weak. Five cows, one, two, three, four, five. Time! If recruits don't have the energy or aggression to fight back, they could find themselves in deep trouble. If recruits fail the first time, they are forced to redo this until the course director is satisfied. For the poor swimmers, this is hell. We have this uh, drowning part for training for our recruits, for them to get prepared when they engage their enemies in the water. If someone is drowning them, they don't get panicked and they, they know what to do. Five cows, one, two, three, four, five. Time! Recruit 199 is in trouble. Nang sinakyan na ako ni CD. Talagang mabigat siya. Parang mawawalan na ako ng malay ka lang. Nauunti-unti na talagang ang ubisyong mga asa. The recruits survive amphibious training. But what lies ahead will test their nerves and risk their lives to become a scout ranger. The Scout Rangers are an elite strike unit on constant standby to deploy against insurgent groups across the Philippines archipelago. June 7, 2001. Muslim insurgents, the Abu Sayyaf, hold three civilian hostages deep in the jungle after kidnapping them from the Dos Palmos Resort in Palawan a year before. After stalking them for days, Scout Rangers track the gorilla's footprints through the night. By the next day, the rangers creep within 30 meters of their targets. For the next two hours, they engage in intense firefight against 30 rebels in muddy and thick terrain. Four enemies are left dead and one hostage rescued. Marksmanship is a key skill for a ranger. Today, these recruits need to prove they have it. Four, one, ready. Fundamental understanding of positioning, aiming, breathing, and correct trigger pressing will be put to the test in five separate skills. Zeroing. One inch below the line of sight. Endurance firing, record firing, and the sneaker course. But it is the final exam that is the most nerve-wracking of all. A confidence test that can kill. 
recruits are required to shoot two bags full of colored water at a distance of 25 meters using this M16A1 rifle with a 5.56 caliber round. First, they practice. Then their teammates hold the bags. At this range, a 5.56 round could kill. Hitting the thigh could rupture the femoral artery, one of the body's most important blood vessels. Rapid blood loss leading to death can occur in just five minutes, and the margin for error is slim. So, kahit na perfect na ibang part ng fundamentals, pag nagkaroon ng error sa trigger, konti lang, konting error lang, maaaring ang target hindi na siya tatamaan. Maaaring kakaliwa ang bala or kakanan. This is more than just marksmanship. It's a test of trust. Pagkaibigan mo kasi, kakabahan ka na maaari mo siyang matamaan o hindi. It's judgment time. One target down. Lucky for his friend, Recruit 22 passed and they both move one step closer to being a ranger. Next, the recruits begin the Helleborn training phase. Scout rangers can deploy quickly into conflict areas by air. Landing into hostile territory, a helicopter is a big target. These men need to get out as quickly and safely as possible to avoid the helicopter getting hit. Bali ang tinuturo ko sa kanila ay paano yung tumalon and then i-secure yung mga landing zone, paano nila i-secure din yung mga personnel during movement loading and unloading ng personnel. Mistakes here can cost lives, even in training. Napakahalaga yan na malaman nila kasi... As a scout ranger, hindi mo na kailangan pang i-command. First, recruits gear up for the quick deployment method. If the terrain is clear, the helicopter can fly fast and low while the troops disperse. Makibagay ka, makisama, makiramdam mga dito sa surrounding. It's a risky 10-foot jump, and one mistake could result in broken bones. Next, they have an even tougher challenge, heli repelling. Uh, yung heli rappel ay ginagamit yan during infiltration. Na kung saan, hindi kaya bumaba ng aircraft. Hindi kaya niyang bumaba ng uh, sa ground, magtat sa ground. Kaya kailangan magbaba yung tropa, use of the rope. Recruits practiced this skill at the tower earlier in training. But now, they take it to new heights. They need to complete nerve-wracking drops from 50, 70, and finally 80 feet above the ground, with nothing to stop them but their hands. Ang nervous ay hindi natin na it's inevitable. Talagang ganyan pag una nervous pero ikontrol mo. Recruits first tackle the 50-foot drop. Kung tumalong ka ng siyang beses, paulit-ulit mo nang hanapin dahil nagaganaan ka na at uh, excited ka na. One step further at 70 feet, the winds become harder to battle. The training is located near the mountainous area, so tendencies for the wind to blow from all directions, making it harder for the pilots to control the aircraft. Next, it's time for the big one. One mistake during this 80-foot drop could prove fatal. 
Recruit 20 experiences trouble. He's unable to control his descent. Quickly, an instructor hits the brake. Tuloy-tuloy na ako kaya. Kung halimbawa walang biliman, tapos nangyari rin sa team. Kung hindi ka nakabreach, nagre-reach ka talaga. May tendency na mabalian ka or mamatay mo. Tomorrow, the recruits will face their toughest challenge yet. 153 recruits remain in the fight to become an elite scout ranger. Today is the beginning of Hell Week. A culmination of everything they've learned put to the test. For the next six days, there will be no uh, rest for them. We push the students to the edge, testing their stamina, confidence, psychological toughness. As a day goes by, the test will get tougher. If they fail one part, the recruits will be recycled to the next class or returned to their mother unit. First up is land navigation. Land navigation is very important as a scout ranger. Scout rangers should never get lost in the jungle. If you, if you get lost, you won't be able to accomplish your mission. You will jeopardize your team. The stakes will be high in three months' time when these recruits face real enemies. They must prove they can lead the way. Each recruit is given a unique navigation route comprising of any five of these 24 targets. The chart contains a set of colors with different corresponding letters. They have to find their way point to point but no one route is the same for any of these 153 recruits. They have four hours to complete the test, and the course could see them covering over 12 kilometers. If a recruit returns late or does not complete his answer sheet correctly, he will fail. Recruit 8 has reached three of his five targets in under two hours. It's 170 degrees, and the distance is 1,100 meters from here. It's my fourth target. Now on to his last destination. We just waited, uh, there's a stake under the mango trees. But the directions to this one aren't as straightforward. Ito to, it's called Sender Pim Bakod Nair. Yan po ni Vincent. Pag ganun? Ito ba? He is lost. And he's not the only one. Time is ticking down. If they don't get back in the next hour, they will fail. And they're a long way from home. Recruits are battling to become elite Philippine scout rangers. It's Hell Week. And they're in the middle of their navigation exam. Time is running out for Recruit 8, while some have already made it to the finish line. But the mistakes are numerous. Siguro hindi nila na kukuha yung basic ba na dapat gawin. Kung paano kumuha ng reference, kung paano magplat ng kompas sa mapa. One has run into bad luck. Recruit 205 claims he has been the victim of theft. A cow has eaten his test paper. The instructors don't believe him. It's a nervous wait as they check out his story. Sinasabi ko naman yung totoo. So, sa instructor na lang yan kung maniwala sa hindi, basta... They can't verify his story, but they will give him the benefit of the doubt. Recruit 205 is given another chance at the test. Banat, he will join. But fail this time, and he will be out of the course. Back in the field, Recruit 8 gets some help. Oh, wow. Well, 
With just 50 minutes to go, his fifth and final station is done. Recruit 8 heads back to the training school to meet his comrades. Recruit 205 returns from his second consecutive test, just in the nick of time. It's the moment of truth. But it's not good news. Sa pag-umpisa pa lang, wala na. Pangalawa, wala din. Ano ba, zero? Wala, sir. Wala talaga. Hindi talaga tumama. He's failed. As a recycled recruit, it is certain that his journey to be a scout ranger is over. At the end of the navigation day, 20 recruits have failed. For recruit 35, it's a cruel end of the road. Hindi ko akalain na sa tagal na ano, sa tagal namin na training. Tapos, yung pinag-iingat-ingatan mo na training mo, eh, para isang pagkakamali mo lang, biglang nawala lahat, nagunaw lahat. But the night is not over for those who remain. The recruits are not allowed to rest. They're kept up all night practicing martial arts. This is not designed to make them experts at fist fighting, but to wear them down. 7 a.m., another grueling day of testing begins. It's the water confidence exam. Recruits will complete the aptly named slide for life, but first, they need to successfully swim across this lake in uniform and combat boots, weighing down the body. Recruit 181 struggled with the earlier swimming tests. But this one is harder. The weaker swimmers panic. Nasa gitna ako ng tubig, halos marami akong nainom na tubig na pumasok sa bunga nga ako. Talagang pilit ko pa rin lulutang yung sarili ko sa taas para maka makakuha ng hangin. Akala ko hindi ko may susurvive yung langoy. It's recruit 181's turn. Fail this, and he will be off the course. Despite teammates and instructors' support, It's not his day. Recruit 181 will be recycled with 16 others who have failed the swim. Jan, alam ko talaga na hindi talaga ko papasa dyan. Wala na talagang lakas kasi sinabi ko na uh, ilang araw na kami walang tulog. Pero before mag-open yung next class, mag-practice muna ako ng langoy. But his fellow failed comrades don't take the news so well. Ranger it is, bakit nang iya ka? So, itong class na to, kasi maski anong pilitin natin, pilitin natin, hindi man rin kayo pala mga kapasa. Next, next class kayo mag-join. Kuha? Yes, yes, yes. So, magbalot ng mga gamit nyo. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Good luck. Marino na yan, Marino. Day 4 of Hell Week. 116 recruits remain in the Philippines Scout Ranger training course. Over 40% of the class have dropped out or failed in the last two months. And with two more days of Hell Week, followed by a real operation against real insurgents, the road ahead is long. I Sana na maintindihan nila ang trabaho ko. Malakas pa rin ako. Kaya ko ito i-survive. 4 a.m. Recruits have to complete a 24-kilometer rucksack march. They haven't slept in over 100 hours. Medyo pagod pa ang katawan pero kakayanin. Para sa mga mahal sa buhay. Isipin na lang na madali na makita yung kwan. 
Even worse, they will have to carry 35 kilograms of gear on their backs. They march as a team, but it's an individual assessment. For Recruit 8, it's as much a mental battle as physical pain. There's less than two hours left, but the strain of 35 kilograms is showing. The march comes to a halt. But these exhausted recruits don't know what's coming next. It has all been a ruse. For the most feared test yet, escape and evasion is about to start. Escape and evasion is an exercise wherein students get a chance to feel what it's like being caught by the enemy. Recruits will be held captive and treated as prisoners of war. It's a reality that could happen in just three months when they go into real battle. Robbed of their vision, their binds are positioned to maximize pain. We don't do this to traumatize our recruits. We do this to uh, remind them to never get caught by the enemy because the enemy will uh, show no mercy on them and eventually they'll be killed. Scout Ranger recruits have endured nine weeks of physical hell, but nothing could have prepared them for this, escape and evasion. For the next 17 hours, recruits will be subjected to various forms of torture. The aim is to make them fear capture. The experience ko naman sa iko iko ay biglaan kakagulat na di mo talaga maasahan na mangyari habang nakadapo kami dun sa parang nararamdaman ko na yung mangyayari sa katawan ko parang alam ko na na dito talaga mahirapan ako. Mamatay ka na lang kaysa mahulik ka pa. Pero talaga sumasagi sa uta o isip mo na kailangan ko talagang tumakbo. Wala na yata, parang papatay na kayo eh. Pero pag doon pa lang nararanasan mo ng sakit, hindi ka na makapag-isip. Hindi ka, hindi ka makasurvive doon. For Recruit 2, it's a brutal lesson in survival. I think your loyalty to your country is really being tested. You will realize or you will uh, give information to the enemy once you uh, experience pain. It's been 12 hours since the recruits were captured. What happens during this time is top secret. one of the worst experience, if not the worst experience of uh, my life.
Recruits have been through four months of punishing training, but it's not over yet. Recruits two and three are longtime friends. They've had the rare experience of going through all their military training together. The pressure here is very, it's very heavy. We come from different units, so from the start, we found it very hard to adjust. Your patience is being tested uh, until you explode, you know, you, until you cannot uh, carry yourself anymore. As classmates, we really do our best in order to help each other to maintain our strength and to graduate eventually some, someday. For, for the months to come, I, I think that uh, my dependency on him will, will continue. I rely on him very much and if, if ever he will uh, not be around, it would really affect me uh, personally. Tonight, these two will lead the final platoon run, a test of teamwork and stamina. Next time they carry these 18 kilogram packs, it will be for their final test mission, a real battle. But some have additional burdens, like this MG60 machine gun. They have just two and a half hours to complete a 17 kilometer circuit in the dark. So, the reason why we have to conduct the platoon run in the morning is the use of the military vehicles that are not able to pass through the area. So, we need to double time. Split into four platoons, they will be staggered at 10-minute intervals, one after another. As a team assessment, they must leave no one behind. If they do, every member of the platoon might fail the course. So, mababak down pa lang siya, tutulungan na. Hindi yung kung saan siya back down, dun nun na siya i-assist. They draw grass to see which platoon will go first. And they're off. Sixty minutes into the run, so far, so good. The first platoon arrives at the turning point, but some begin to slow down. The platoons only have 30 minutes left to hit the finish line. Team spirit is vital in completing the run, and Recruit 3 has taken on additional weight. in time. We feel really happy because we, we did it properly and we, we, we had a time we passed. It's a defining moment for Recruit 3. For me as the platoon leader of 2nd Platoon, I think it's the very most, one of the most fulfilling, fulfilling event in my entire training. And this is also a test for our platoon mates, for the integrity of our platoon. And as you can see, some of us were shouting because this is the last night that we will be carrying those heavy loads. It's a moment to celebrate, but not for long. 
they need to prove they have the combat skills to match. Soon, the recruits will face the ultimate challenge, a real test mission, real enemies, real conflict, one they might not return from. Test mission is a must for the uh, members in order for them to graduate. That differentiates the ranger training from all other military training. They could face the Abu Sayyaf, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, and the New People's Army, battle-hardened insurgents. But Recruit 3 is not daunted. Every mission given to us, uh, we will accomplish them with uh, a great achievement. And here in Scout Ranger Training School, they're not just training uh, soldiers to become rangers, but rangers to become heroes. As Recruit 3 and his class head into real battle to gain membership into this elite club, the class ahead has just returned from their test mission. I have the honor to present to you two Army officers, 85 Army listed personnel, and two police non-commissioned officers who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of Scout Ranger Corps. These 89 recruits have endured one of the longest test missions in training history. We spent two months in the Eastern Mindanao Command. Uh, five personnel, army personnel have abducted and we are tasked to rescue them. But one recruit didn't make it back. Accept also the soul of the class member who offered the ultimate sacrifice for peace. Sobrang lungkot, tapos yun tao pa na halos nagsasabi ng problema tapos yung taong pwede mo rin masabihan ng problema. Basta masakit din sa akin kasi halos naging parang kapatid ko na rin siya. One man died trying to earn this badge. But for those in this class that survived... By virtue of the authority vested in me as the commander of First Scout Ranger Regiment... These eight months of hardship have earned them the tabac tab. I hereby declare the students of Scout Ranger Course graduates effective today. Congratulations. After being tested under fire, they now have the right to call themselves Scout Rangers.